Never embarrass somebody with shoes on in my shop. <laughs> I need a set of See, real people so. have no shoes. Okay, you're in charge of this because you don't want to be on camera because you're stupid. Okay, so how long have you been working your bike out in the street now? <clears throat> it still doesn't run? Well, you took the carp off. Well, I had to because it's all screwed up. So the float appears to be a little high. You had to have the choke on because the carpet had air leaks so bad. And then I made it run without the choke on. You said it couldn't be done. Okay, well, yeah, if I turn the, so turn turn the knob three, out three, three turns three out. <laughs> then we're going to put an O-ring on there that works. I mean, the O-ring. Well, we didn't get this O-ring. You, got, you, got, you interrupted me upstairs. You said that that was good. you got to get a new O-ring because you have lots of money. I don't even have my wallet today. That doesn't surprise me. You don't have anything. No brains, no wallet. But you have shoes. You're good. <clears throat> okay, so you see this tab right here? It's called a tab. You push on the float like this, and you go like this, and you bend it. Now measure it. Oh, see, now down. it's different. Now it's deeper. That's right. That's because I adjusted the tongue. On so you're measuring off of this? Gasket surface here, not this one here. This one here. How does that make? Oh, I mean. Now that's about three-eighths of an inch. You could be three-eighths. So now this one you can just go like this side here a little bit. And you want roughly about five-sixteenths. So. Doesn't have to be critical. I don't push, know. Pushing I it, pushing it down. I didn't, the read float? The, I didn't read the SS and rebuild kit number instructions, so I'm not exactly sure at 100 percent what number it's supposed to be. But, but see how that one there is a little bit closer to mm -hmm. five sixteenths. Now you could be three eighths too, but a quarter inch is going to probably leak. We're probably just over a quarter. We're right at a quarter right now. You shut my camera off? No. Oh, you hit the button over there. I didn't. That's impossible. Oh, there goes that door upstairs too. No, your light finally started working. <clears throat> so now we're a quarter inch even. So I'm gonna go back where I had it. What what are you pushing on? That's what There's a tang right here. Okay. So you hold it with your thumb and you push on this. If you push too hard you break the float. You can't be a heathen. You have to have some skills. You can look over here and see how close it's on that side too. You notice how it's not even. I'll put it back where I had it. This side doesn't want to bend. Maybe I gotta push harder. Or break it. I could do that. Might See it a little deeper now. So anyway, somewhere five sixteenth, give or take, a sixteenth mm -hmm. will work. If it's too low, you run out of fuel on the car on the road, and if it's up too high, you float over. No big deal. It's not important. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now, what jets do you have in your vehicle? Uh, 70, 70 and uh, 68. No, 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 29, 26. Was it 26? 25. That's no, a big number 26. right there. If you're That's 70. 70. Ooh, this is 0625. 26, I think. Maybe. Why would you have a 26 in this thing? Because oh, yeah. it's a. Uh, That's a very lean number. What are you filming down here? Covered up there. Oh. You guys move this thing oh, way yeah, too so much. You got a 0625. Yeah, zero to six two five. Oh no, two six five. Yeah. Why is it so lean? That's what was. Well, to save on gas. No wonder it doesn't run for shit. Jeez. That's lean. I, I want to save on gas. It's six dollars a Your gallon right now. Gas prices, man. I'd rather have a shitty. No, I was on TV. It's seven dollars in L.A. And some place was nine dollars. I couldn't believe that. Well, on the side of the freeway, where it's super convenient. Yeah, Somewhere. I bet you it is. It's nine dollars a gallon. Man. That's good stuff. They don't screw us in California at all. I don't. See how that fits on it's there? It's called the summer blend. It's not all broken through here? It's called the summer blend. Is that what it was? It yeah, they say in the summertime they blend it differently does and they charge more. Does that have to come from Russia too? Good. No, it does nothing to do with Russia. Yes, it does. Oh, wait, you can't talk about this on, That's right. on YouTube. Sure. It'll get flagged. It'll get flagged. By Putin. Putin. <laughs> Somebody pooed on him? Good. See this it's a technique too. you go like this and you push it in their flats. See, look at that. Ah. You don't even need any special tools. That's a special bench. That's awesome. This is in my oh, toolbox. This is a nice bench. This goes in my toolbox. Tool this box. is a nice bench. Actually it holds my toolbox, it's the same thing. I mean bench, welding table. Okay, so that one will seal there. You notice how this one sticks up above the surface? <clears throat> like yours, which is kind of just flat. Because yeah, it's a little old. The rubber was the probably old. didn't have quite the elastic extension that you had on yours. I need to get those out. See, this one here has ceiling there. Now, if you go like this and put that. them together, then it will leak along this surface. Yeah. So you have to go like that. Now, you don't have to run this either. You can run it without. Okay. Then it puts more heat in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that goes like that. So that's how that. What works. is this made out of? 
phenolic material. Mm -hmm. See how it's built up out of crap? Yeah. That's called phenolic. Okay, this does not move. That's a good sign. Where's your pump rod at? Did it fall out? Huh? Right there. Oh, there it is. He needs that because he's shortened No, we're not leaving him that. I need that. He shortened us twice. A brand new one and the one. Don't oh, remind me, dude. Should we show on camera? Okay, this appears <laughs> to be an eighth inch in diameter. Oh, you're right. Perfect. And where are we going to find some eighth inch wilding rod around here? Jeez, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Right here. You're not going to use aluminum. There's 100 pounds right there of it. Why not aluminum? It doesn't There's have it's 40 not, pounds more it's over not here. a lot of load on it. Now, if you use a 40-43 welding rod, it's going to be a little bit soft. It'll bend. If you use a 53-56, the hard shit is stronger. So the key is you got to use some good stuff. Now, see how that one's bent now? Oh yeah. That's because I was using it to fix my welder. See how it has flats in here? That way you can hold on to it when you go up and down. Oh no. You want the same height as what his is? is that the yeah, you know, maybe even a tiny bit shorter. Too late. Yeah, same too has a little ruin in it. Oh, okay. Look at that, dude. So we're now using welding rods instead of How much shorter factory S&S. I, mm. I think this isn't a factory service. But I could use the one with the flat. That's, That's not going to put it out. No really. way. Oh, perfect. It's going to be custom. Okay, now it's shorter than stock. Now, how much shorter did you make yours? <laughs> quarter inch. Probably. Quarter inch shorter. That would be too much. <laughs> Hey man, I was tired of running like that. Okay, now you should deburr the edge so yeah. it's like this, that flat. Would... Now this might not fit in the hole, I'm not sure, because I haven't tried to see if it fits yeah, yet. I'll fucking grind it now. Is that where it came from? Oh, that's not okay. cool. Shit. Does it go in that hole? No. Yeah. It doesn't, it's not going to work. Yeah, well, because you flattened it when you pinched it. No, that's the marking it took. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... no, 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 the, when you pinched it. Yeah, but that's the flat part. I'm gonna charge you five dollars because you customize it. Yeah. Five dollars for the one that doesn't work? That yeah, sounds like a deal. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, that was experimental. Okay, now we're gonna have to go make another one now. Does this one gonna make it correct? Okay, you got another piece of welding rod over here? Got one right here. Yeah, you have plenty. Just don't use the side that's got the flat spot on it. <laughs> See how this has a curve in it? That means it's different material. Custom. Now, is it the 55 56 material or is it the. 4343. 4343. 43, 43. Yeah, this thing can't zoom in. That's called 53. 50, it's 5666. 50, whatever that number is. There's a bunch of sixes in there. That's called military grade. Yeah. This stuff's more expensive. Whatever makes my bike the fastest, man. The fastest? <laughs> there we go. We cut that one down a little bit. That's a high end material. That one's more expensive. He's gonna yes. use welding rods. <laughs> when you go to buy this stuff, it's twelve bucks a pound instead of being eight bucks a pound. Of course it is. <laughs> okay, now we gotta make sure this is flat and true and everything. Wait a minute, you're gonna he's gonna put this on the lathe. Oh jeez. Don't you need the welding rod? Should be using that one, I should be using this one anyway. Yeah, that's a little hard. So, it's just... Deeper. Better? Yeah. Precision cutting. Oh, look at that. It's the same length almost. Oh, nice. Yeah, but... A little longer? It's only a little longer than I was going to say, you haven't cut it yet. <laughs> it's only a little longer than stock. I'm sure there's no problem with that. Okay, so you want it a little bit shorter. We have to grind to the size when we're done. So you got to come back just a little bit. So right back there. Oh, I made it too long again. This time we're going to use the correct disc over here. Something a little harder? That's called fine, that's called porous. Mm. How much shorter do you want it? It's uh, a little tiny bit, I guess. That is a little tiny bit, like 15 pounds. Maybe a uh, 15 pounds? Custom. Why is this getting hot? Custom. Maybe because you're just grinding on it? Oh, that one was? Wait, now you're not, you need to reharden it. I'm cooling it on my finger. Got a burr on there now.
I'm sure it's better for you. Perfect. How much is the difference now? Yeah, perfect. I think. Perfect. It would be perfect. Let me see it. I can't tell the difference. Which one's which? Oh, they both look S and S now. Yeah, which one's yours? Which one's mine? Huh? Which one you like? These are the longer ones. No, mine's the this one. That one's yours. I can't make no more. I'm out of material. Oh, nice. Thanks. I sure appreciate that. It's a one-stop shop, man. <laughs> yeah. Everything you could dream of for an old antique. <clears throat> Late model and old, all of it. I got some pistons for your bike too. Ooh, you could use this, James. Jesus. So you know, those are not in me. What are those? They only got two barrels. What are you going for? That's how it's supposed to be. What do you mean you don't like Harley's? Uh... This big inch stuff here? No, small inch. No, they aren't that big. It's almost the same size as your car, right? See? Yeah, that body of the car. I want to learn how to do heads. So <clears> you can do <throat> my rod. You need to practice on your bike, right? Your rod. We need to practice doing top ends on your bike, right? Get the right rod in there. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay. So how'd you come up with this jet? It has been in the bike for probably a thousand miles. And how's it run for the last thousand miles? All I'd saved me a lot in gas. I doubt that. <laughs> probably so stinking lean it won't run. Yeah, that's why it was always hard to start. Where's your new O-ring out you're going to put in there? You forgot it upstairs. Oh. told him you didn't need one. No, you did say <laughs> that you could probably run it, but... You said it's runnable. I'd have to go upstairs and get one, though. I'd be upstairs. <clears throat> you go upstairs and get that baggie up there. Which one? Where's that? Get the jet tray. Did I pull the jet tray out up there? Yeah. He, did you leave it out? Bring me the jet tray it's down. It's been out there for a while, I think. We're going to put a jet in this thing, too. We're oh, if it's an S&S &S jet... Yeah, they're like $50 a piece nowadays. They're brass. Yeah, I know. That's not Putin brows, so that's fucking uh, China brows. Can you can you say this on the tube? What tube? The U. I don't have no tube. <laughs> Got no ring. Yeah, I need the seven sixteenths. Well, you want a wrench too? Yeah. Uh, where do I find a wrench around this place? I don't know. Wrench. I brought them both. I didn't know if you were trying to main. Oh, oh no, no, you're trying not. to you're trying to just add it up. Well, no, this is called 40 HSR 4248. This is called. Yeah, we don't, we don't need oh, the the, These are the only jets. No, he was ready. trying to save me a couple bucks. See, this one here said HSR again. All right, where's the other one? It was up there. Oh. You got the wrong one. Is this in a the bag of... in that box? No, we got to go upstairs now because we got the wrong cars. And then I'm gonna okay. take this off. Wait, where's your half inch wrench for doing your other piece? Half inch. Oh yeah. Where's the half inch socket I was missing? He, we used his half inch socket. We did 916s, we using... I don't know, but where's my half inch socket at? Who knows, man. Somebody stole it. It's probably laying on the ground out there, if anything. I got a 716 there. Oh, there it is. Stop you me. just took that off the, the thing. <laughs> no, it was a 916 there. There's a 916. See, it should be right here. Factory. You and your Torx had two. Okay. All right, let's screw, I screwed up on the jets. And we need a screwdriver too. Wait, we need to, we need to pause this. You need to get this. Well, you want to go now? Yeah. Go like that. 